Hello friends, let's solve the following question. It says find the area of the region bounded by the ellipse x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1. Let us first understand how do we find the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to fx and the coordinates x is equal to a, x is equal to b is given by integral a to b fx dx which is fx a to b which is equal to fb minus fa. So this will be the key idea. Let us now move on to the solution. Here we are given an ellipse. x square upon 4 plus y square upon 9 is equal to 1 which can be written as y square upon 9 is equal to 1 minus x square upon 4 and this implies y is equal to 3 by 2 into under the root 4 minus x square. Now we have to find the area of this ellipse but here we are not given the limits of x. So to find the limits of x we'll put y is equal to 0 because where the ellipse cut the x axis then y is equal to 0. So put y equal to 0. So this implies 0 is equal to 3 by 2 into under the root 4 minus x square. And this implies under the root 4 minus x square is equal to 0. And this implies x square is equal to 4. And this implies x is equal to plus minus 2. So, the ellipse cut the x-axis at the point 2, 0 and minus 2, 0. Now, we have to find the area of the region bounded by the curve 3 by 2 into 4 minus x square. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. And we see that by taking the limits of x as 0 to 2, we find the area of just the first quadrant. And to find the area of this complete ellipse, we need to multiply the area of this region with 4 because we have 4 symmetric regions. So the area denoted by A is equal to 4 into integral 0 to 2, 3 by 2 into under the root 4 minus x square dx. I hope you must have understood why we have multiplied this with 4. This is because when we take limit 0 to 2, it gives us the area of the first quadrant. And since all the four quadrants have the same area, we multiply the area of the one quadrant with 4. So this is again equal to 6 into the integral 0 to 2 under the root 4 minus x square dx. Now we'll use the substitution method to find this integral and we'll put x is equal to 2 sine theta. So this implies dx is equal to 2 cos theta d theta. And when we do the substitution, limits will also change. So if x is equal to 0, then 
2 sin theta is equal to 0 and this implies sin theta is equal to 0 and this implies theta is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 2 then 2 is equal to 2 sin theta and this implies sin theta is equal to 1 and this implies theta is equal to pi by 2. So the integral becomes 6 into the integral 0 to pi by 2 into under the root 4 minus 4 sin square theta into 2 cos theta d theta because dx is 2 cos theta d theta. So again this is equal to 6 into the integral 0 to pi by 2 taking 4 common and taking it out of the root it becomes 2 and 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta and square root of cos square theta is cos theta into 2 cos theta d theta and this is equal to 12 into the integral 0 to pi by 2 2 cos square theta d theta. Now we apply the formula of 2 cos square theta. Two cos square theta is equal to one plus cos two theta d theta. Now we integrate this. This twelve into integral of one with respect to theta is theta, and the integral of cos two theta is sine two theta upon two over zero to pi by two. Now we'll apply the limits. 12 into first put theta equal to pi by 2 so it is pi by 2 plus sine 2 into pi by 2 upon 2 minus now put theta is equal to 0 0 plus sine 2 into 0 upon 2 and this is equal to 12 into pi by 2 plus sine pi upon 2 minus 0. The sine 0 is 0. Again this is equal to 12 into pi by 2. This is because sine pi is 0. So 0 upon 2 is 0 which is equal to 6 pi. Hence, area of the ellipse is 6 pi. So, this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.